Hi guys, so something a little bit different today. I'm in the kitchen um, and yeah, I'm going to basically go through just a few little food prep tips and tricks, um, you know, ways to stay organised at home, ways to, you know, reduce cravings or reduce, um, you know, influences in your household that may affect your eating habits, cravings, anything like that. So I'm just going to show you some little things that I like to keep in the household you know, that are great go-to snacks, um, how I organise my meals and those sort of things when I'm coming up to, you know, a show, but even just lifestyle things. I try to, you know, keep eating the same foods pretty much year round. I'm just really weighing and monitoring what I do. So my number one thing in the kitchen would be scales. Um, me and my housemate both have our own set because we're usually in the kitchen um, organising stuff at the same time and getting in each other's way. So yes, we have our own sets each. Um, he's actually prepping for his first show at the moment too and I'm doing his prep, the poor guy has to live with his coach. Um, so analysing his food all the time. So I mean, it's good living with someone, it makes it a lot easier that's got the same habits as you. But I haven't always lived with people like this before. I've actually never lived with anyone that's competed or had the same style of life as me. I've lived either with my parents or my old housemates didn't train or anything. Um, before that, I lived with housemates who, you know, used to drink a lot and um, buy a lot of takeaways. So that made, did make it a little bit harder. But it's great living with my housemate at the moment. Um, I think we've, you know, both helped each other out in that sense. So, yeah, I'm just going to basically show you through my kitchen a little bit what we've got. So we're going to start with the fridge. Now, it's really messy at the moment. I apologise for that. Um, but basically... I like to um, do a big meal prep on a Sunday. Um, even though I'm a flexible dieter, I find that I just don't have the time in the week to organise my meals. So I still like to cook um, a couple of things up fresh, but I do also like to pre-freeze meals, especially if I'm competing. Um, it just makes it a lot simpler. I tend to eat the same thing pretty much Monday to Friday. Um, I'll just vary like breakfast or if I'm at home for dinner, but with my work schedule being a personal trainer, and a coach, I'm in the gym at 6 a.m. and sometimes I'm not home till 8. So if I don't have meals with me throughout the day, I don't have time to get anywhere. Um, I don't really trust food when I buy it out, especially when I'm prepping. So I find I just like cooking at home. I get to put the flavorings in I want. I get to make it taste how I like it. So why would I bother, you know, giving someone my money to do that? So I will cook up pretty much um, per day eight pretty much five meals because I get up so early, I get hungry if I try to eat four. Usually on the weekends I'll have four meals, um, but yeah, five meals. Uh, first one, breakfast, pretty easy, I mix it up again. Um, I'm a pretty, you know, big lover of oats, so generally it's either like oats and some form of protein, um, you know, a little bit of fats in there if I'm not training early to keep my um, hunger levels down. I love pancakes. I do them up frozen and put them in the freezer and then just pull them out in the morning. I'll do a big batch up on a Sunday. So just, you know, make a big lot of five or six, stick them in the freezer, pull them out and put fresh fruit and things on the top in the morning, which is a great go-to meal. Um, otherwise, a lot of the time, I'll just do like an omelette and have some oats on the side and I generally just eat that when I get to work. I'll pre-make the omelette the night before and then just do the oats in the microwave at work in the morning, which is pretty much what I've been doing at the moment for prep. So in the freezer, um, the best way to do it is kind of lay them out in the day so you know what you're pulling out the night before. So say for tomorrow, um, I know that I've got three meals in here. One is actually one of my omelettes for breakfast tomorrow morning. I freeze them sometimes as well. Um, and then I've got a couple of meals here. One of them's uh, chicken, veggies, brown rice. Um, and then I'll probably chuck some nuts or some oil in there. And then the other one is kangaroo with some pumpkin. Um, and then I'm going to actually add a fresh salad to that. So sometimes I'll do that. It'll just be meat and a carb sauce and then add some salad on the side. Um, now, I'm a massive fan of frozen berries. So we've got massive supplies of raspberries, blueberries, um, lots of frozen veg in there. There's nothing wrong with eating frozen vegetables or fruit. Um, it still retains all its nutritional value and it's really convenient and also cheap because I find I buy a lot of fresh stuff and it goes off because I just don't get through it. Um, another thing that I keep is obviously some spare meats in the freezer. So I've got some kangaroo burgers in there which are really, really handy. Um, some lean turkey mints and yeah, that's pretty much it in the freezer. Um, I do like my ice cream and yogurts. I'm not a massive dairy person. It's not too great on my stomach. So this is fantastic. 
classic um, Weiss frozen yogurt. It's actually 97% fat free, so a lot of the time we'll have that after training. Um, and then also some protein ice cream. So we've got a few little things in there. Again, better things, um, you know, to reduce those cravings and good options that you can work into your macros as well. Um, they're great for my high carb days too. Um, bananas up on the top of the fridge. Again, I love making banana pancakes, things like that on a high carb day. So in the fridge, me and Kieran kind of prep our foods a little bit differently. He likes to eat his food a lot more fresh than me um, and we'll get through it a lot quicker. So he just does up big massive batches of chicken and then he'll like use that for two or three days of meals. Um, but then he's also prepped a couple of meals for tomorrow too. So he's got some steak and veggies in there and some chicken meals. You can see that we have a lot of Chobani yogurt. A couple down here on my shelf, a couple on his shelf as well. Loads of egg whites up the back. Um, liquid egg whites again are really handy. Again, there's not a lot of fat in there. so. You've got to be mindful of that. I just find them more convenient. I know yolks are great for you and they've got good B6 and B12, but when I'm in a hurry, the egg whites are just a lot easier. Sometimes I'll leave a tray of whole legs in there and add one whole leg to a mix of egg whites and then you're getting a bit of good fats and your B vitamins as well. Um, from there, I'm a massive fan of cottage cheese as well. Um, it's got good casein in it, keeps you feeling really full. Same with you, yogurt. Um, it's a nice slow release. The Chibani is fantastic. Um, Chimani is the highest protein yogurt on the market whilst also keeping the carbs down low. So that's the low fat one. I generally use that or just the normal one with the green leg which has a tiny bit more fat in it but not a lot. Because I'm prepping at the moment, um, my fat has come down a little bit. I like to keep my carbs up and fat down. It tends to respond better for me. Um, so otherwise, I'm a big fan of all my condiments as you can see. Um, you know, you want to add flavour when you're cooking, especially when you're prepping. So my top ones are probably like seeded mustard, I put in salads, um, minced ground garlic, chilli, ginger, um, and then for salad dressings, I do a lot of like American mustard is really low calorie. Um, shove that in there. Lemon juice, um, other plain ones like apple cider vinegar. Cool. Then um, down the bottom is pretty much my shelf. It's a little bit empty at the moment because I've got to pull my meals out from the freezer. Um, but then I do leave in lots of fresh strawberries. Um, usually I'll make up like a post-workout that'll be in there, which will be in like some yogurt or oats or a pancake. Um, then down the bottom, fresh fruit and veggies. Um, I'm a massive fan of almond milk, so unsweetened almond milk, I like to put that in my coffee and everything, use it the whole way through preps. And yes, we have some spidermine. We do like our artificial beverages in this household, as you can tell. So that is something that we definitely chew through a lot of in prep. Cool. Now on to the pantry. So again, a little bit of a mess here, but we keep it pretty boring. Um, it's pretty much just a few condiments and a big fan of cereal in this household. So Kieran's favourite at the moment are the chocolate mini wheats and the Marlowe cereal. Um, I've got that in on his plan at the moment. Just I think it's in his post-workout meals. That's pretty much it. Um, just some higher GI carbs to get in after he trains and it's also something to help reduce his other cravings. Um, just a little bit of a treat there. My personal favourite Good old Nutri-Grain, um, and also I do like the Cocoa Bombs, um, those as well, they're a gluten-free one. Cool, then other than that, um, in terms of condiments and things that I use day to day, the Fountain No Sugar Barbecue Sauce. Now, my stomach is a bit sensitive to artificial sweeteners like xylitol and malitol, which are a high FODMAP, which aren't good for people with irritable bowel. So this one is actually sweet with stevia, um, sorry, matvia, which is a stevia extract. Same with the tomato version, which is here. Um, so I find they're a lot easier on your stomach and they're like nine cows per serve, so like nothing. Um, I like the Walden's Farm range of pancake syrup. Kieran uses this one, but that hurts my stomach that is got xylitol in it. So I tend to go for this one because it's sweet with stevia and I put that on my pancakes, my oats. Um, this is one of my favourites, Sprague's Amino Sauce. It's an amino-based soy sauce, minimal cow, um, put it on chicken, anything like that. Gives it that kind of stir-fry taste. That's fantastic. Uh, kids' <laughs> sugar-free chocolate. Yes, I put this in my chocolate protein pancakes. 
Again, swing the stevia and just poker powder. Um, other basics to keep in the pantry, tins of tuna, um, bean mixes. These are all easy things, you know, if you're not organised that you can just chuck in. Um, then again, like cannellini beans, I'll make brownies with um, normal oats, steel cut oats. Uh, then I'm a massive fan of rice. I know these are probably more expensive than your normal rice, but they're super convenient and I always seem to stuff up cooking rice. So for me, they're really easy. Um, I like the Uncle Ben's, the Mexican one's really tasty. Uh, they're my main staples there. I mean, other than that, I've just got your normal things like stevia, um, Himalayan rock salt is probably my favourite to use. Um, you know, things like vanilla extract, cinnamon for baking, all that sort of stuff in there. Uh, that's the main essentials we keep in our pantry. It's pretty stock standard. Um, sweet potato in there as well. Um, some PB2, we've got a little bit of um, peanut butter. Um, almonds and nuts are probably something else in there that I tend to keep. So keep those in some containers. Uh, then all my protein tubs are down the bottom. So we have a lot of those. So keep them stocked up for muscle works. That's pretty much the pantry. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's all about just staying organised in the kitchen and just keeping everything you know, ready to go and making sure you're well stocked so that you, you know, can reduce cravings if you really want something sweet, you know, mixing up some of that kid's sugar-free hot chocolate with a bit of protein powder and some almond milk and making yourself a chocolate drink, something like that, rather than going to town on a block of chocolate. You know, it might not be optimal, but it's going to be better than, say, going and binging on something else. Um, you know, those, those things are really handy to keep in mind when you're prepping keeping your fluids up, everything like that. So yeah, I hope this helped a little bit. Have a great day.